hello guys welcome to my channel this is the 42nd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about the local time function in Perl and um, basically this is a tutorial about date and time values and you know how we can uh, retrieve the current time uh, and uh, display it in a way that is easy to understand so as you can see I have a script opened up here it's called uh, date underscore time and in this script on line number three I have created uh, a list variable an array variable called months and um, it has the short forms for month names so Jan, Feb, March, April right up till December and uh, then on line number four I have created another list variable called week and this has the short names for days a week so I have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday up till Saturday and then on line number five I have made a call to the local time function over here and uh, you call it by just typing local time and a set of uh, parentheses and uh, I have saved the output from that function in uh, another list variable called my underscore date time and uh, then on line number six I have used a print statement to just see the contents of my underscore date time and if I would uh, run the script the way it is right now uh, let me press F5 so we see that we get a string of numbers and then we see the current time and the current date well we haven't really gotten to that part of the script yet so I'm not going to talk about that output we're going to run this program again and uh, check out the output and then talk about it in more detail but uh, for the time being you ought to know that the local time function converts uh, you know the time uh, that is specified by expr in a list context and it returns a nine element array and uh, you know uh, if you have a nine element array then basically you have subscripts from zero to eight and uh, the subscript zero is for seconds you know the one uh, the first subscript is for minutes the second subscript is for uh, hours three is for um, you know day of the month the fourth is for month fifth is for year sixth is day of the week seventh is day of the year and uh, eighth is uh, I don't know what the eighth subscript is for I've forgotten but anyway we're not going to get to that part so uh, to retrieve the individual values I have created variables and I've stored those values in the variables thus created so uh, to store the seconds I have created a variable called seconds and as I said the second value is stored at the zeroth subscript so you make a call to the list variable which is my underscore date time and in square brackets you pass zero so the seconds value would be stored in the seconds variable similarly minutes value would be stored in the minutes variable and then uh, hours are stored at position two so my underscore date time square brackets two that's going to get you the hours and then uh, day of the month at three uh, the month value is at subscript four and then uh, the year value is actually uh, you know 1900 is considered as a base so the year value that you get is you know whatever value is there after 1900 so if you want to see the current year then you would have to basically add 1900 to it uh, because that's the base and then um, you know for uh, day of the week it returns uh, a numeric value and if you want to see uh, you know a, a value like Sunday Monday Tuesday and so forth then you would have to basically use uh, an array variable like the one that I have created here and uh, I have done that for months as well actually because you know uh, <clears throat> you get the value as a numeric index and if you have an array variable like this and you could just use uh, the value as a subscript for this array and you would get the corresponding month value and uh, then finally you know after creating all these variables I am using two print statements one on line number 15 and the other one on line number 16 I'll run the script and this is the output that we get this is the raw string that's returned by expr and then uh, this is the current time uh, 111 and this is the current date so you know it's Friday March 11 2016 we see all the values that we have um, fetched so that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys had fun watching this one you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm gonna see you in the next video till then take care